Okay, all you lovely people at FoodTube, I'm gonna show you how to fillet a whole salmon. Uh, it applies also to a sea trout or trout. Same method, I'm using this knife. This is a, this is a, a, a filleting knife. Uh, I'm using this because it's quite standard. I'm gonna need some little tweezers for taking out the pin bones, and I need um, some scissors. The scissors I just use to remove all of those little fins. Uh, get yourself a nice plastic board. Get yourself a wet cloth underneath. Um, so let's talk about how we cut this fish. First up, let's just have a little look. So can you see that natural line behind the fish's head? We want to follow that with the tip of our knife. I'm going to run that knife behind the neck like so. I'll then fold it over and I'll do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to give it a little tap and go all the way through. We've got a cross section of the fish here. We can see nice and clearly we've got the fillet and the spine here and we want to cut through there. So I'm going to put the tip in and I'm going to do a nice confident cut through. Once I get into that ribs, that's good. Then I'm gonna turn it around and see, can you see that there's the backbone going all the way along the fish here? See the dorsal fin here? I wanna stay on this side of the dorsal fin. And it's really important that you do long movements, okay? Even if you get it wrong, better to go long than big jaggedy bits, okay? So be confident, clean knife, start on top of the spine, and I'm gonna run my knife down the length of the spine. And you know where it is, there's a dorsal fin there, and we're kind of locked in now. Keep your hands out of the way, all the way down to the tip of the tail. Now what I want to show you, it's a little trick, is the bottom is here. And I'm literally going to stick my knife through to the bottom. See it's come through? And then all I need to do now is slightly angle the blade into the spine. And if I just do that, what I'll do is have a nice clean cut and we won't waste too much. Half the fish is taken off the bone here, right? So we, we've revealed the spine. And now I'm gonna angle the knife into the ribs. And as I'm doing it, I'm just easing it away. The blade is not facing the meat, it's facing the ribs. Then it goes quite close to the ribs. And then you get the ribs off like that. I'll do this other side of salmon. Stay on the top of the backbone, past the dorsal fin, right up to the spine. We've hit the spine there and then we're gonna look for the bum hole and we're gonna go straight through, hold the blade down and angle it down and beautiful. We're gonna go up to the spine once more, just rub it against the rib bones and come out. I've taken the ribs off now. We've got this little bottom fin here, so off with the fin. What I like to do is face it away from me clean up that angle there. I'll use my knife and I'll cut down the length of the fish like that. This trim you can use for mooses and bits and pieces like that. But we have got pin bones to deal with. So the pin bones are like the little ribs. If you scrape this fish, you'll see them. And I just simply use a little pair of tweezers or you could use clean pliers just to remove those bones. It's nice to remove that. And then there we go. We've got our lovely fish right there. When you buy filleted fish, it's been touched and bashed around and kind of exposed more. If you want to enjoy the best of fish, you learn to master it yourself. It's really good fun. Let me show you another little technique. Go to the end of the fish, go down to the skin, and you can actually angle the knife under the skin. And what I want to do is achieve two things. Pressing down of the blade and angling of the blade to the skin. And then do the kind of little, it's a beautiful, gentle action and then we've got that skin that comes off like that. So we've removed the skin there. See how close that is, almost, look, right off. And of course, once you've got a filleted piece of salmon again, cut it into little escallops. There's another couple of ways of treating this as well. You might want to slice it into steaks, little six ounce steaks. You can just do a light little score so we can season in there and also it looks pretty. This little slice of salmon gets cooked in, in a minute's time, a minute in a hot pan. This is what my wife uses all the time for the kids. Very, very beautiful. That's how to fillet a salmon trout or sea trout. You can see down here a whole bunch of different preparations that hopefully you'll find useful. And remember, if you want to see any other talent from FoodTube uh, cooking beautiful fish dishes, then check them out down here. And if you like it, like it. If you want to comment, comment. And of course, please share it on your social media so your friends know how to fillet a fish. And you never know, they might cook it for you. Bye, guys.